We're now talking with the Hunter Brothers. Everybody knows the Hunter Brothers in Australia. And they're the top contenders in carting within Australia and have been for many years. Uh, with us on my right here is Robbie Hunter. Robbie's a uh, top, one of the top ten drivers in the world. Recently come back from the world titles and qualified very high there. And is rated as one of the top ten driving for the Devon team. And uh, on my extreme right, we've got Brian Hunter, captain of the Australian team, uh, at that same representative meeting. And uh, he's the, the older brother of, Bri of Robert and uh, is today driving a very, very powerful twin engine cart. In front of us, we've got the uh, Duvinson sprint cart. In fact, Robbie did drive, and it's uh, a very, very competitive cart. And with your times today, Robert, you should uh, do very well. And uh, how do you think you'll go uh, at the remainder of the day's racing? Well, it's a long day. There's one race today and four races tomorrow. Uh, we're hoping that it'll run consistently as it has been running in the World Championships and we'll wait until Sunday until the last chequered flag falls. Right, that's where it all counts. You must uh, see yourself going very well, Brian, but we're here talking about Robert, of course, and uh, you must be very happy with uh, Robert's time so far. Yes, I'm only here to play with mine. All I want to do is get this in the front. And I think on Sunday, really, I think it'll be there. And if it is, that's what we want. Right, I think that the Hunter brothers have got every chance of winning it. I, th um, I think that everybody's got their fingers crossed for a Victorian uh, win here in the hands of Robbie Hunter, or it could be uh, Drew Price or John Pizarro. They must be hottest uh, competition, Robbie? Yes, they're Gordon all Gordon Bennett as well. There's top four top blokes there that can go any way, just the drop of the hat. Well, I think that... Uh, You've got every chance, as, uh, as has everybody else that you've mentioned there. And uh, we wish you all the, all the best of luck and hope that uh, you come out with a goal. Thank you very much. Thanks very much indeed. Thanks. Thank OK, now we're talking to Drew Price, uh, fresh off the track after time trialling. And uh, Drew, you've just qualified fastest. And it puts you right in contention now for the uh, 1980 uh, Australian title. Uh, you must be considered favourite now. How do you see your chances? Um, I'm very happy to, well I won't say I've qualified fastest yet because there is still a fair few to come out but it would appear that most of the uh, generally renowned fast drivers have been out and um, I'm very very happy to be uh, at this point the fastest qualifier and I'm sure it's got to give me a, a lot better chance um, to be fastest qualifier than if I wasn't. Okay that's uh, certainly very true and I think that uh in the light of things gone past, and we've seen the, the top, top drivers out. And Drew, you've, uh, you've done very well to get where you are with uh, your DAP equipment. You've got the DAP DAP uh, set up here and coming straight from your own sponsorship, of course, DAP Drew Price Engineering. And uh, you've done very, very well to put uh, together not only your card and just about everybody else's here. You've done, uh, you've done well and you've, uh, you've qualified number one today. It certainly looks very rosy for you, and I think that. Uh, He's certainly the favourite amongst the, the drivers and uh, let's hope we can keep the title in Victoria. I think you're the man at the helm to do the right thing. Yeah, well, I certainly hope so, Roger. All I'm really looking for this weekend, seeing as I have now apparently qualified passes, that I have a little bit of a run of better luck than what I've been having lately. Lately, I haven't been able to take a trick. Everything just seems to go that little bit wrong and I'm just hoping that this weekend's the time for a change and uh, with, with that I think we'll be right in there. Okay, it certainly looks good for your fifth Australian title and I think that uh, you should get it through. All the best mate and uh, may you go on and win the title. It's Drew Price we've been talking to there from the Drew Price Engineering and Bridgestone Sponsorship. Okay, we've moved uh, from Queensland now. We've been uh, all over Australia. We're moving over to South Australian contingent now. And we're with the Racing Browns. And the Racing Browns have now become a, a synonymous name in Victoria and a, a big threat to all Victorians. And uh, the man at the helm, of course, is Alan Brown. Alan here next to me has uh, contended very well. He's so far in uh, time trials, he's qualified fastest in the twin engine class. That's a 200cc super class. And has uh, done very, very well there. A, a sizzling time was, in fact, crackling out there before. How'd you see yourself? Well, we, well, we, just, well, we, just, we just had to keep them together. Well, let's, uh, the time doesn't always mean that you're going to be there at the end. OK, it's very important, of course, to be there at the chequered flag, but uh, you've always been a big threat here to uh, karting. Sam, how do you see uh, Alan going this time? We could win it again. Win it again, right. <laughs> big chance for Alan Brown in the uh, karting soon, but the other, other racing Brown, of course, is Crawford Brown in the uh, McCulloch class, and uh, he's tipped to, to qualify fastest in the, in the McCulloch. How do you see yourself going, Crawford? I think you made just a little mistake, actually. The 50-year-olds don't qualify the fastest anymore. I'm just hoping they qualify, period. OK, hope's as good as anything. The Racing Browns are here today in fine force. They're uh, drivers and they've come over to Victoria on many, many occasions and, in fact, uh, threatened uh, to take titles. In fact, have done so as usual. They're over here again. Very well like the, uh, the Brown ra Racing Browns as they were and uh, they should do very well once again. We wish you luck on uh, behalf of Victoria and hope that we see many more Browns come over 
once again. Thank you. That's Ellen Brown and the uh, Brown Karting racing for DEP here at the Melbourne Cartway. OK, now we're talking to Jeff Jacobs from uh, Tasmania, the Apple Isle, as they don't really like it to be called, of course, but uh, Jeff Jacobs is here with us, uh, for, uh, more affectionately known as Jake amongst the karting circles. And uh, he's a, probably one of the, the most switched on guys in Tasmania. And in fact, is a, a part-time car racer as well. And in fact, he's done very well in both circles of karting, driving the big twin here today. He's come across from the uh, Northwestern Car Club in Tasmania, which is situated in Burnie. And uh, Jeff, it's good to see you over here again. It's not the first time we've seen you, and no doubt it won't be the last, but it's good to see you here, and you've done very well so far. Yes, well, it's a pleasure to be here, and it looks like it's a well-organised race meeting in that, and of course, but the Australian titles, especially when they're held here in Melbourne, there's a big following of carts. It's an extremely good competition, and that's one of the reasons, of course, why we're over here. Um, of course, the more competition you have, the more your standard improves, and uh, a bit rubs off on the guys back home. Uh, we've got uh, a team over here of four competitors, and uh, a big following of um, mechanics and so and so, uh, you know, and lots of people over here from Tasmania and uh, it's good to have their support and it makes it a lot easier. It certainly does and uh, it turned out very very well uh, Jeff and I'm sure that uh, you do so much for the sport over in Tasmania I think that you'd uh, just about be the king of karting over there in fact and uh, uh, you're certainly a credit for karting and uh, it's always glad, we're always glad to see you over here on the mainland to see you racing you always got uh, plenty of colourful driving for us and uh, good equipment and it's, it's just good to see you over here again and it's good to see you in, in contention for the big title in the uh, 200cc super twins yes well uh, it's very good to be here as i said and of course one of the things about it is coming over here frequently we get to know the guys here and we get a big following uh, for our big race meetings in tasmania uh, a month ago we had a uh, big race meeting over there the lactos tnt9 tasmanian karting free and the main event for four thousand dollars we had a big following of uh, mainly Victorians and New South Welshmen uh, also over there. And of course, by getting to know the guys, and you can communicate better. You, you can tell them what's on, how to get there and all this sort of thing. And we're looking forward to a big race meeting in Tasmania about February next year. We hope to make it probably a $5,000 race meeting. And uh, we're looking for all the support we can get from uh, where most of the carters come from, this side of the river. OK, well, let's... Uh it's good to see uh, Jeff Jacobs over here. And uh, once again, we're signing off again, this time from Tasmania, Jeff Jacobs.